How's it going? My name is Andrew and welcome to a completely new series of Planet Coaster. I want to spend this episode talking about what this series is and how it's going to differ from the other series that we have running on Planet Coaster as well, which was Alpine Adventures. So this series, I, I've tried out in Alpine Adventures, I've tried out, um, I've tried out doing the kind of scenery building tactic or the kind of scenery building style uh, that some people do when it comes to Planet Coaster and I've found out that I really like it. Except it's a little bit difficult to do when you don't have unlimited money, since scenery objects do require quite a bit of money. So I decided that maybe I'll I'll also make another park, which is going to be focused on uh, more on scenery than the last one, where we'll have unlimited money, we won't have to worry about any of that, and uh, and we'll be able to just kind of go wild. So the kind of park that I'm going for here is I'm going for a, a sort of uh, I'm going for a sort of think of uh, think of Animal Kingdom, Disney's Animal Kingdom, kind of a zoo park. Think Bush Gardens, think Wild Adventures. These are the kind of parks that I'm kind of going for here. And so we're starting out with an entrance and that's pretty much most of what we're doing today is work on the entrance to the park. No rides quite yet. We got a, we got a little bit to do on that entrance before we get to the rides. Um, so this might be a slower paced, uh, this might be kind of a slower paced series. I don't know, it, I mean, <laughs> not really slower paced because we're doing time lapses, but you know what I mean, it's like, uh, in the other series, I'd be building rides every other every other series. There'd be a new roller coaster. But in this one, I want to definitely take my time to make those roller coasters special and make them actually really, really nice because this is going to be mainly focused on scenery. So we're starting off in a, a savanna or a, uh, not a savanna, but a, what's, what's it called? Kind of a safari kind of uh, land here. And that's the whole idea. It's that you're kind of like in the outback or like in a safari kind of thing. And so that's what we're going to call the park Safari Land. Now, don't hate the name. I uh, It took me a long time to figure <laughs> I was looking at a lot of park names and I was like, what could I do that would be original that would also sound cool? Um, something with safari. But I couldn't think of anything better than Safari Land. So I said, screw it. Better record the episode. I'll keep it. Um, so we're doing Safari Land. And so I looked at some pictures of how they do kind of kind of the the entrance when it comes to parks like Animal Kingdom, and this is sort of what they do. They've got this uh, kind of a concrete wall with these wooden style um, wooden style ticket areas, and I thought it was really cool. Uh, and, I, and I'm tr I'm kind of trying to mimic that. This is actually based directly off of pictures from the ticket booth at, uh, at Animal Kingdom. So we're just going through and adding some uh, some pillars there, some cool stuff. And so this kind of style that you see right now, the time lapse, that's that's really what I want to go for for this whole series because I think when you're doing scenery, uh, you can't just showing scenery is kind of difficult in Planet Coaster just because it takes so long to do. For instance, this whole episode right here is compiled of about three hours of gameplay, and I've I've actually sped that up to between 800 and 1,200 uh, percent speed. So. It's, um, I do like this time lapse with voiceover style, and this is only the second one I've done, so don't hate it, because uh, I'm, I'm just kind of learning how to do this kind of voiceover while watching back my footage, and, and it, I don't know. So let's see where we are. So what we have here is we've got like a ticket, a ticket center there. That's where you'd go and you'd get your tickets. But one thing that they had at the Animal Kingdom, uh, all the Animal Kingdom pictures I saw as well, is they had this kind of overhang so that if it was raining, well, it's not really for rain, I, I would say. I think it's more for like, if it's uh, if it's sunny out, maybe this would provide a little bit of shade. So we're gonna try and make that overhang as well, uh, mimic it as much as possible. And the overhang, it didn't really have much. It was really just a couple wooden beams jutting out and then maybe some wood on top of it as well. So it definitely wouldn't, it wouldn't protect you if it was raining, but it would definitely provide a little bit of, uh, of sun. Now what I'm trying to do there with that little that little piece is all these concrete walls, they had little rocks in them. And I was trying to figure out how to do that since the rocks in this game are massive, even the small ones, they're really big. So I was trying to figure out how to get, get small rocks in the side. And actually, if any of you know an elegant way to do this, to, to make like a, uh, like a rock siding, for walls, please post that down in the comments because I was having quite a bit of trouble trying to figure out how to do it. And you'll see here, I, I tried first with some actual rocks, but it didn't look quite right. Uh, so then I tried with with some actual ornaments and I tried to color them the color that rocks would be, like a like a gray. But it ends up looking a bit <laughs> a bit weird. So you'll see later that I actually do go back to using normal rocks. Uh, and again, that looks very weird 
and it could definitely be a little better. So if you know an elegant way to do that, please post that down in the comments so that we can uh, so we can get that going. Because currently, uh, we're by the end of this episode, you'll see it looks a bit weird. So here we are. We're going with some actual rocks, and you'll see um, they're they're a bit they're a bit jutty. They jut out a little bit too much, uh, and they're a little bit too big for my liking. But we do the best that we can. So. It looks like we haven't done the roofing yet, so I guess we're going to do the rocks and then we're going to move on to the roofing uh, for this place here as well. So for the whole park, I've, I've had this, I don't know, I've had this fantasy of having... Oh, it's actually starting to rain quite a bit outside, I think. Um, just here, I hope you guys don't hear it in the recording. But I've had this fantasy of a, a River Rapids ride with like kind of a, kind of, kind of like a really rocky River Rapids with with cool jungle music and that's kind of what the whole theme that I'm looking at for this park is I'm just thinking of that fantasy that I have of that ride and I'm trying to make it happen so that's <laughs> we're, we're eventually gonna build that ride most definitely um, I've also I also like the idea of having a couple roller coasters that are like enclosed in trees so they look like they're going through a forest I, I think that looks pretty cool and one thing I also want to try to do is since this is kind of a safari park like Animal Kingdom and uh, Bush Gardens as well. I want to have some animals, and that's kind of a weird idea for Planet Coaster because it's all about roller coasters. Planet Coaster, it's all about a theme park. However, they don't really, they don't really add anything when it comes to animals. It, it's a little bit difficult to, uh, like, model a giraffe or something in the game because uh, you can do some modeling in the game, but it requires the use of the art shapes. And you actually see me do that uh, in a, probably a couple minutes because when I actually make the sign for this park, so. Um, but I do want to have kind of like a, a safari adventure that you can go out and like you can see animals grazing in the distance and maybe like there's an overturned truck somewhere and you're like oh no uh, we have to get out of here or so, I don't know some adventure or something <laughs> so like it'd be cool um, so I don't know but we'll get to that stuff later that's that's just all future ideas and I'm sure when I when I actually get back to working on some of this stuff I'll come up with way more ideas but uh but for now, that's that's my two fantasies. We got that jungle adventure, or my three fantasies: jungle adventure, roller coaster, and uh, <laughs> we've got the idea of the uh, river rapids. I also kind of want to get a a, sh a show in there. I don't know. That's one thing that I think Planet Coaster lacks a little bit is that a lot of theme parks have shows in them. Like you know, like everyone's seen that show where it's like the animal show. Like they bring out a lot of animals and they all do like a thing or something. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. This right here is a sign that we made for the park. And this is something, this is a technique that I actually learned by watching a guy named Geekism. Actually, this whole video style is inspired by his style. Uh, dude named Geekism. Really good Planet Coaster videos. Uh, and I definitely recommend 100%. Uh, so we're going for a sign here. And at first, it's going to look a little bit weird. Because the, the S, we did it. This, this is our first letter, okay? So can't hate on the first letter. But, but we're doing that S a little bit there. Um, and of course, I made this sign here in Photoshop, and so I hope you like it. I use just like a standard, uh, a standard bubbly kind of font, kind of safari looking uh, font there. And you'll see actually that tree, you can barely see it there, but when it, when it comes to making that tree, we have quite a bit of fun there. But, uh, but letters aren't hard, they're just, they're just a bit tedious, but no worries. Um, actually, I still don't really know where we want to put the sign. That's one question because if you look at the thing for Animal Kingdom, the uh, the way that they do it is they have a sign above the ticket booth where it says uh, "Welcome to Animal Kingdom" or that sort of thing. But we can't really do that because our sign's just a bit too big. So uh, I think we're gonna have to figure out where to put it. So just going over the letters here, and, and it gets really easy when it comes to the blocky ones, and also secondary A, we can just copy that over. Uh, but yeah, a lot of these letters are just very easy to copy over. And I think later, I actually switched the color of this because I didn't like it. I thought it was a bit too yellow, whereas I want kind of an orangish color. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, more like... But anyways, just going through the letters here, and we're almost done with them. Land, it was, land was a little bit off because I think I, I think it was off in Photoshop, so I had to do a little bit of uh, creativeness when it came to that N, and especially that D. Oh, the D was quite fun. Uh, that's I shouldn't probably say that online. <laughs> no, the the D was a bit difficult to to actually make here because we didn't really we built it outside of the uh, of the stencil you could say, so we didn't really have the design. And then when we finally finished making the D, it just looked a little bit too big, 
and you'll see what I mean. Doesn't that look a little bit gigantic? So what we did is we just kind of moved everything in just a little bit, and there's our D. We've got the whole, all the words done now, it's time for the tree. So the tree right here, I didn't really know how I was going to do the tree, but I, I just kind of went with it, and it, the, the branches end up looking a little bit weird, but what can you do, right? Because there's not very many parts that you can get to uh, to kind of match the curviness of those branches. So what I did is I, I just kind of like improvised where I could here. So for instance, that kind of splits off into two branches. Instead of two, I made it just one. And this right here, same thing, a little bit of improvisation here. No worries. It ends up looking good in the, in the, uh, in the end. So there we go. And here's the last trunk as well. And I didn't really know how to do how I wanted to do the, the top there, but I decided that circles might be the best bet. Uh, big circles for most of the area and then smaller circles for any of the smaller places. And it ends up looking pretty good. Uh, it looks actually kind of like a tree, which I was really surprised when I took a step back and actually looked at it. I was like, wait a second, this actually looks like a tree. I'm so, I, I can't believe I did something and it looks good. <laughs> I don't know. Some of you might think it doesn't look like a tree, but I think it looks, uh, I think it looks similar to a tree. Like if you looked at it at glance, you could say that, that's probably a tree that he was going for. So I don't know. I'm still new at all this, all this art designing and, uh, and sort of thing. So here, what we're doing here, I believe we're bringing everything and just trying to move it uh, up there and then filling it out just a little bit. And that's going to be our sign. And you'll see it from the front in a second, I believe. But uh, but I think it looks pretty good. It's We're going a little too fast for you to see it. But you can see right there that it didn't really fit on top of the ticket booth like I wanted. So I still don't really know where I'm going to where I'm gonna throw that. So right now what we're doing is we're going to work on the front of the ticket booth because before you get to the tickets, usually there's kind of like a garden area in in all theme parks that I've been to. There's a, there's a big open pathing area where people can just kind of walk towards the place because you can't just be immediately shown the ticket place. You have to also have like you have to you have to be brought up there with paths. So we have we want a big path area before that. So what we want is we want these big kind of uh, kind of planters where we can throw some some bushes to take up some space. And this will this will help a couple ways. First, it will look nice, and second, it will also kind of herd people into the area that we want them to go. So once we place them down, you actually see that a little bit better. And I really, what I really wanted to do is I wanted to get some normal bushes in here, but unfortunately, the bushes are all looking a little weird. So what we ended up doing is we ended up just grabbing a tree and making it go really far down, and then just putting in the bushes. And I think it ends up looking pretty decent. But it, it did look a little bit too empty here, so then what we did is we just throw a uh, an actual tree right in the middle of there, and I think it looks it lo looks pretty awesome. Uh, finally, we had a couple of bushes in there as well to kind of fill out some of those empty spaces there. Those bushes are really good for filling out empty spaces. I think they might be the smallest bush or the thinnest bush maybe uh, that we have in the game. But you see there, and, and we'll we'll duplicate that as well. And the way we have this set is it's going to kind of herd people towards the tickets. And that's really the idea. So this one I wanted to change up the design just a little bit so that you, you don't think it's duplicated. Um, but it was a little bit difficult to get some, some plants in that little corner area. But we made it work, so no worries. So there's that one right there. And yeah, so you can see kind of if the path's there, it does kind of herd people towards those tickets, which is the effect that we wanted. So that definitely works out. I'm looking forward to our awesome safari park, our awesome scenery safari park. Uh, not 100% sure what I'm going to do once you get behind the ticket booth. Well, actually, they're going to be by the end of this episode, you'll see they're going to be three ticket booths. Um, but once we get behind the ticket booths, I'm, I'm going to have to take another look, see what they do in the. Oh, my voice is starting to crack up. See what they do in the actual parks uh, as far as as far as buildings and scenery go, because uh, typically there's like a little city once you get in there. And that's kind of a place where you'd find bathrooms, gift shops, uh, restaurants, that sort of thing. And that's kind of that's what I want to do as well. So one interesting thing that I've never done before in Planet Coaster. Well, I'm new to Planet Coaster, kind of. So <laughs> one thing that I've never done to Planet Coaster, which isn't saying much, is uh, I've never built parking lots. And I've seen a couple of uh, playthroughs where they build parking lots. And I think that's something that we should try out. Be and, and for that... I've left quite a bit of space at the beginning of the park before we get to this ticket area. So um, so hopefully we can go about doing that. And furthermore, I want to actually make a parking garage because that's a thing that a lot of these parks have is the actual garages. 
So you might think this is weird what I'm doing right now, the, the little rocks. I needed to find a way to fill in this space because the the paths are a little weird in this. It's very difficult to build like a straight path. And actually, I bet I could have done it with gridded paths now that I think about it. I might go back and redo that. But uh, the paths are a little bit weird and you can't. it's very difficult to build like a full path. And so what we did is we tried to kind of cover up some of this, some of these holes here with little planters. Uh, I didn't like that tree. I thought it was just a bit too big. I, actually, I didn't know what to put there. I still don't know what to put there. So if you have any ideas, put those down in the comments because I'm not quite sure uh, what I want to stick there. For now, I just ended up coloring it so it looks a little bit less, uh, less out there. But, um, but back to what I was saying, the, the parking garages, that's something that you always see at theme parks and that's something that I don't really see in Planet Coaster. Maybe it's just really difficult and I'm just thinking it might be a little bit too easy, but like personally I think it, it wouldn't be very difficult just because, I mean, I go to a school where we see parking garages every single day. Uh, they're natural to me, so maybe I'll just, maybe it'll be easy, but maybe it'll be deceptively diff difficult. You know, you never know. So. Uh, we're going to make a little bit of a line here because you can't have a ticket booth without without a line. And this is actually directly coming from that uh, that picture of Animal Kingdom. Um, I'm, I'm directly copying kind of the line that they had going. Uh, and, and then, so it's, it's going to be kind of a weird line when you look at it uh, when it's finished here. So we're going to have one entrance. That's going to be the entrance right there that I just made. And then from there... It's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit uh, weird because I didn't know I didn't know how I wanted the line to interact with those plants. That's the, really the main problem, is that we had all those plants there and those plants are a little bit big, so you'd think they'd be roped off because they're so big, and I didn't want people to be able to go in there. So what I did is, is it's not really a line per se. I mean it's kind of a line, but it's more like just a a very small way to push people into stuff uh is that nearing the end no that's not, that's almost nearing the end um how much more do we have to do here did i did i completely miss i don't think i missed a section okay well anyways what we have to do still is we have to move over the whole um the whole thing i'm looking at my at my uh recording it looks like it's only 30 seconds left and i think this takes longer so i wonder if i mis edited something but we're gonna keep talking as if i didn't miss edit something so what we're doing now is we're just copying over this whole building and we're actually gonna go back in and we're gonna change things up just a little bit so that, that uh, the buildings don't look exactly the same um, but yeah we're gonna have three ticket booths like this so we're gonna have one one in the center and then one in the left and one in the right and that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be our way and maybe maybe two of them won't be ticket booths I haven't actually thought about that um, but maybe two of them like maybe the center one will be a ticket booth the right side one would be like uh, something else and the left side one will be something else like maybe um, handicapped or something handicapped entrance would be on the I don't know uh, child swap <laughs> I don't know what do they have at parks I'll have to go and look because um, I highly doubt they're gonna be three uh, ticket booths but maybe I'm wrong I mean there are a lot of people uh, that go into parks like this so maybe three ticket booths is a normal thing I don't know but I think this series is gonna be pretty awesome and I'm super excited for it uh, I've been having tons of fun in the last three hours playing Planet Coaster, trying to get this stuff built, and I'm very excited to see where this is going to lead. So if you have any comments, put those down in the comments section, and if you want to like the video, hit that like button. If you dislike it, uh, hit that dislike button. I'll see you guys in the next video.